Now, one of the things that we want to become a little more familiar with, with the ribbon inside of Word, and this is actually true of any of the Microsoft Office applications, from the 2007 edition moving forward to the newest release. At this time, the newest release is 2016. But I'm going to imagine this is going to be something that Microsoft is going to carry forward even beyond into the newer, newer releases. So very important. Looking at the ribbon, we've got this file tab. Now, over the generations, over the different versions of Word and Excel and PowerPoint and so on, this has changed a little bit. Not hugely drastic, but the File tab gives you access to file-related commands. Things like Save, New, Export, Printing, Your Options, everything that deals with the file or the application as a whole. Let's take a look at it. So I click on my File tab. This is going to change my entire screen. Hey, I no longer see my Word document and that cute little dog on there, right? It's now replaced it with this file tab or the backstage view. Okay. So on the file tab, you can see that I've got a series of tabs over here on the left, info, new, open, and so on. Now each of those are going to give me very specific features that I can use. On the info tab, I've got things like protecting the document. I want to lock down the document, don't let people edit it, I can do that here. I can go through and inspect the document. I can look for things like uh, pieces of metadata or keywords that I don't want to have show up inside the document when I send this out to people. Or I can have it check for potential errors or uh, issues that other users in earlier versions of Word might have with my document. If I go to New, you got your new commands. There's your blank template, all your, your default templates that come with Word and the ability to search your online templates. Open, save, save as, you got your print, and this is super slick. Your print is built right into the home tab or the backstage view, and you get a live preview of your document right there. And you can make some common adjustments for printing, all in one spot. Sharing. I want to be able to share this document with an email, send it off to people. I want to present it online. I want to post it to a blog. Got all sorts of options here. Now, once again, your file tab, it's all about options for the document. Saving, opening, opening, exporting. Got your export command right there. You got your options in here. Well worth your time to dig around and say the options window. All sorts of ways that you can customize Word. If you've done this in any other Microsoft application, Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint, very similar, but customize your experience inside of this application, and you do that through your Options tab. So once again, I recommend you poke around inside of here and see what's available to you. We're going to talk about some of this much more in depth as we get into later lectures and we start isolating some of these tools. But for now, once again, just get familiar. Poke around, see what's in there. Open up the Options window, see what's there. If you ever want to get back to your document, so you can start working with it again or look at that cute little dog, you can just hit the little arrow. Top left corner of your screen, hit that arrow. This will take you right back into your document. And I want to get back in there. I go to my File tab, and I'm back to looking at all of those features. So try it out. Get familiar. Just poke around inside the File tab, see what's available, log it to your memory. We'll come back to some of it later on.